Hello. Welcome back to Rad System Studio List Field Properties. My name is Tuzik. In today's episode of List Field Properties, we will learn how to configure Master Detail Relationship. Master Detail Relationship helps us create a connection between two different tables without making use of default page table join. Before we proceed, let's take a look at the tables we are going to use in this project. We have the Products table, Sales table, and Customers table. On the products table, we have the following fields with respective field ID. On the sales table, we have the following fields, the customer ID. This can can be used to create connection with customers table. We also have the products ID field. This can be used to create a connection with products table, followed by the quantity field and total price field. On the customers table, we have the following fields, the ID field, name, gender, date of birth, phone and email address field to enable master detail relationship on a field first of all choose the table of choice select the list page click on the table field you want to create connection on i will use the product list page id field and then from the field properties select the master details relationship property click on the small button now master details relationship dialog box pops up let's configure it over here we have the relationship type below is the relationship tables involved this includes the masters table and the details table on the right is the page display properties starting with the relationship type there are two types of relationship which includes one to many relationship and one to one relationship you will understand the difference as we progress i will use one to many relationship first The immediate section is the masters table. This section contains the table field property we are enabling master details relationship on. The next section is the details table. From this section, select the table we want to connect with and also select the foreign key field from here. For demonstration purpose, I will use the sales table and then the sale product ID field. Click okay. Publish project and preview in the browser. Let's have to look. Now when we click on the product ID field, it displays a modal dialog box with the list of sales of products selected. Please observe as I demonstrate. The next property of master details relationship is the page display. On the display icon field, let's choose an icon to make the field feel much like a button. I will use this icon. Now click okay. Click on the button color field, then choose any icon color class of your choice. I will choose BTN success. That's it. Click okay. Publish project and then click preview in the browser to see changes. Now we can see that the field in a green button with an icon. That's cool. Now let's go back to relationship type. Remember, we have demonstrate one to many relationship type. Let's switch to one to one relationship. For better understanding, I will use the sales table as the master table to connect customers table. From selected table fields, I'm going to click on the customer ID field and then use it as the forging key. From the field properties, click on the master details relationship property. Over the relationship type Select one to one from the options. We can see the sales table as the master table and customer ID as the forging key. From the details table section, click on the detailed table to select the table you want to connect with. I will use customers table. Then on the detail field, select the field to use as primary key. On the display icon, I will use this icon and then click OK. To give the field button a color, click here and then select from the options provided. That's it. Click OK. Publish project and then click preview in the browser to see changes. As we can see, the field button color is set to yellow or warning color, and when we click on it, it shows details of the customer ID selected. We can see the name of the customer. We can also display the name of this customer directly on the button as the field record. To do that, Click on the record display field text from the options provided. Select the field you want. I will choose the customer's name field. That's it. Click OK. 
Publish Project and then click Preview in the browser to see changes. From Page Display Type, we can switch from Record View to Record Edit, click OK. This option is only available on one-to-one -one display type. Publish project and then click preview in the browser to see changes. By default, the page display style, located on the right side of page display section, is set to modal. Click on the page display style and select other option of your choice. I will choose inline display. Click OK, publish project and then click preview in the browser to see changes. As we can see master details is loaded inline direct on the page table and that's cool. Let's understand the difference between one to one relationship type and one to many relationship type. With one to many relationship type, we can list single or multiple detail records. With one to one relationship type, we can access or vice only one details record. This also provide the options to view record or edit record directly. Now we have learned how to configure master detail relationship. Please subscribe to our channel and enable notification bell icon to get notified when we post a new video tutorial like this. Thank you.